Hello everyone, I am Vaishali Shivari, Assistant Professor from Department of Computer Science. I am over here Cyber Security. We are at the Module 4. The name of the Module 4 is System and Applications. We are at the second chapter of the second System Security. I am going to cover the topic chapter and name of the topic is cell security there are two types of uh, security measures or protocols that is called as pgp and smi uh, basic learning objective of today's session understand about cell security and you should be able to know what is p and what is mime Now consider first of all, uh, what is an email? So you must be knowing the concept of email. Every day we use this email concept. So email is long form for electronic mail. So I can say that email is nothing but the electronic way for transferring the message from sender to receiver. The email consists of following components. They are header and body of the message. Now what comes under the header? So I can say that header, uh, it will contain the information regarding sender, then receiver, then at, uh, from whom, that means from whom the message is sent and to whom it is received, that we say that as the receiver, right? Uh, then it may contain, if you want to Give the same message n number of different so you can add the carbon copy that is cc you can add bcc that is a blank carbon copy of that that will come under the header part the body of the message means the actual contents of the message whatever message that you want to transfer from sender to the receiver will come under the body of the message so you must have seen email like from various components like from then to then subject you are mentioning exactly about what you want to message the particular person then comes cc and bcc right carbon copy and blank carbon copy and as i told you body of the message so actually there are there is uh, some rule or some protocol that you have to follow while preparing this header and body of the message, right? Now, as the name suggests, email security. So, every day you come across n number of mails on. So, email security. The basic purpose of email security gives various measures to secure the access and contents of email account. So your email can be hacked by various ways. I have mentioned some of them over here. So then your email can be hacked by spams or viruses or fish. Now what is that? We will consider each of them. Now spam means you must have seen there are junk mails which are coming to your inbox every day. So basically these are used for what purpose? Uh, various companies uh, give these spam messages or junk mails to you for advertising their product and all. Right? So these are obviously of no use but they are coming for uh, email inbox. Right? So uh, it may happen that if you open that mail uh, and you try to reply them, you may get attacked. You are the uh, you may get attack from attackers right and all your uh, sensitive data sometimes we have the habit of uh, saving our passwords or some account related or bank related in or some sensitive data so that can be hacked by the hacker and you can imagine what disaster can occur right so this is nothing but the spam now virus 
as everybody knows about viruses what happens i can say that it is nothing but the file which contains some malicious script and that will when you are running from your computer or from any firm or means any enterprise if it is running that so your important data may be lost and uh, you are unauthorized person is trying to access your uh, computer and unknowingly uh, you will obviously not know about that and unknowingly all your data will be hacked and you will come up with nothing for pc right viruses n number of i can say that around every day so many viruses new inventions are there for various viruses right so your email can be hacked by viruses and next one is a phishing attack so this is the activity of sending the email to the user and he is claiming to be a legitimate enterprise so its basic purpose again is the very sensitive data from uh, they can get your username they can get your password and if you have to if they are able to get all your sensitive data they may hack your credit card details also and then you can imagine what will happen ahead so here uh, i have mentioned some email hacking how it can be done various ways i have mentioned here so uh, i will suggest you uh, about uh, getting protection or getting the security so what you have to do is uh, you have to use the simple method like can you wrong passwords which will be very difficult for the hacker to hack password right you should have the combination of characters numbers some special characters and it should not be very simple like some people have the habit of uh, putting the name of the god or their birth date or any their friends name or anything like that which is for them to remember but never do that what you have to do is make it very difficult so that cracker will not be able to crack it very easily then uh, you can rotate the password uh, so i can say that password rotation is another way by which you can secure your email uh, so i mean to say rotate in the sense you you should not keep the password same forever so you should uh, change it between to rotate that then you can add the spam filters and simply for uh, protecting your computer from viruses what you can do is you can put or install antivirus in your computer there are the various ways in which uh, i have explained you about what is email hacking and how to secure your computer or your data from this simple measures like strong passwords and all. now we are going to consider the protocols that is pgp and smime and these are the security protocols i can say and they can they are the very they will uh, simply protect your email their basic purpose is to protect your email right now uh, the difference between these two protocols is the way or the algorithm that they are using for security purpose right so now what is pgp so long form of pgp is pretty good privacy so this is the open source and freely available software package for email security it was invented by phil zimmerman uh, and it provides authentication through the use of digital signature we have already seen the concept of digital signature now what happens uh, it provides all so uh, as it is using digital signature concept it is providing all four basic security aspects that is integrity non repudiation authentication and privacy so pgp very useful for securing your email it also provides you confidentiality through the use of symmetric block encryption method and as i told this is open source and freely available software providing the authentic digital signature uh, it can also do the compression by using some zip algorithms uh, now in this slide i have explained or i have mentioned some steps which are taken by pgp for creating secure 
her email at the sender side. We will see both that is uh, sender side and your side what happens. Consider the first step. So your email message will be hashed by using hashing function and it will get a message digest. MD it is called as. So uh, various hashing functions are being used. So it will be decided according to the or particular application uh, what hashing function is at particular uh, instance or particular situation. So your email message will be hashed by using hashing function and one message digest will be prepared. Next. Now this digest is then encrypted to form a signed digest. This is very important for now a signed digest created by using Sender's private key. For here, uh, for encryption purpose, sender's private key will be used. And now, this signed digest will be added to the original email message. As I have told you in this slide, uh, that it is using a digital signature, right? So, this way. So, the first step what we have done, we have hashed the email message. By using hashing function and in the second step the digest is encrypted and we have formed a signed digest this is this will be this signed digest will give you security that you have to remember next next step is original message and this signed message uh, digest both will be created by using one time secret key now this one time secret key will be created by the sender Right now, as the name suggests, one time secret key means uh, it will be created every time. It is one time. Next is the secret key will be encrypted by using receiver's public key. Now, both the encrypted key and encrypted combination of message digest are sent together. So, whatever steps that we have seen sites. I have shown that in the diagram, right? So PGP at the sender side, that is, so you can see over there, our first step as we have discussed, I will repeat. Email message is hashed by using hashing function and digest is, you can see that your email message hashed and digest is, right? Next, as we have seen, uh, digest is encrypted to form sign digest. So, this digest is encrypted. You can see that I have shown the key over there. So, this digest is encrypted by using A's private key. Our third step was this original message and signed digest both are encrypted. For email, so I have added plus sign over there. That plus signed digest which we have formed just now. So, this both will be. Uh, this both will be transmitted, right? Next, secret key is encrypted by using first public key, right? So here, uh, this email plus sign digest is one and one time secret key is applied, encrypted, and now for encryption, first, both encrypted secret key and encrypted combination of message are and digest both are sent together. See can see over there in the diagram how the privacy is maintained. So one time secret key that is encrypted by using public key and it's encrypted message. So at the end or at the output you are getting encrypted message that is nothing but secret key and message plus digest. Now at the receiver side what happens? You can see that uh, as from the previous diagram, you can see that the output of uh, this is encrypted secret key and message digest. So, encrypted secret key and message digest is input to the receiver now. What you will do? Uh, what receiver will do? Receiver will receive this encrypted secret key and he will use B's private key. Private key is for decryption purpose. Now, by using one time secret message will be decrypted. So now you are getting uh, email and that is decrypted. So now this uh, email which is decrypted by using A's public and hash function both will be compared. Right. 
if both are compared and if uh, they are similar means security is being mentioned and you are not um, susceptible to the hacker right so this is all about the pgp consider the second protocol that is smim now what is the long form of that it is a secure multi purpose internet extension smime it is used i can say that it is uh, basically based on asymmetric type of cryptography it is used to send secure emails with end to end encryption it will encrypt the contents of your email message before they are sent over the internet the important it, uh, your mail or your data email will not be sent as it is be encrypted before send the receipt. here i have shown the diagram uh, which is explaining you how is mime encrypt an email right now here the sender is using recipient's public key for encrypting message before sending the message to them and it will decrypt them you can see from the diagram uh, it will decrypt them by using their corresponding private key so uh, smime a very simple technology so in today's uh, session we have considered the topic like what is the email security i have explained you what is email uh, how email is composed and how to secure what i have mentioned various ways or majors they are very simple uh, which you can apply so that your email will be secure and how email security can be achieved that we had seen uh, then we had seen that um, there are two protocols that is and smime which are used for securing your email they are using digital pgp as we have seen digital signature so that your message will be secured right and smime as we have not send your data uh, or sorry it will not send your message to the receiver as it is but it will encrypt right so it will be difficult for the hacker to hack your email the end of today's session